Hey guys, it's that again. Well, I am a sucker for little uh, storage bins. Um, as you guys can see, maybe, this is a relatively large. It's uh, about 37 and a half inches this way. And it's about 20, what did I measure? 20, 20 something this way. So um, it's made out of wood. I thought it was metal, but it's all made out of wood. But the drawers are metal. I assume this was like an old card catalog out of a library or something. Um, here is the price tag, if you guys can see that. $30 all. Uh, they put this on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, it was right in town, so I had to drive about four minutes away, and uh, they bought the house, and this was in the garage. So um, they had it on there for or 50 bucks. So I called the lady, and I said, would you take 20 for it? And she said, yep, come get it. So look at all the goodies that is in this thing. I mean, it's like, I found a newspaper here. Um, this was the Observer Dispatch, and I don't know if you guys can read that, maybe. I saw it in the light. 1984. So, I was 10 years old when somebody was playing around shoving stuff in here. But, I thought I'd give you guys a little run through, we'll just kind of peek through it and see what we got. It could be fun. So, because to be honest with you, I didn't even look. We just loaded and got it in there so looks like we got some decent quality eighth inch drill bits quite a few of those we've got a uh, little bit of a ruler there's a not too bad looking maybe three eighths drill bit a handy dandy lawnmower spark plug a um, couple small drill bits here, floating around, real small ones. So, that's what's in there, and this thing, ooh, this is the key to the treasure chest. So, all we got to do is find the pirate's treasure, and uh, we got the key. It's probably that curse of Oak Island or whatever. Um, let's see what we got here. Looks like we've got a huge box of aluminum soffit nails. Um, never know. You might need some aluminum soffit nails. Uh, let's see here. We've got an envelope with a million dollars in it. Nice. I'm shooting this on my phone, guys, and I'm holding it by hand, so... I apologize in advance for the crappiness. Thank you for your confidence in buying quality Craftsman tool set. Only the finest tools can quality for Craftsman name. Yeah, once upon a time that was true. So I didn't find any Craftsman tools yet, but um, we got a pretty solid uh, cable clamp here. I think that would work to uh, hold the uh, uh, dog cable. I think, yeah, yeah, probably pretty heavy. Uh, uh, we've got a hook, kind of a big one, kind of like for a rope or something. We've got uh, some wood bits. These are used for, um, see if I get a better light here, that's better. You know, it's got the tape, or the, you know, the countersink already built in. And I got quite a few of those in here, three. Looks to be about five of them. Got a hook. You know, if you were to buy all this stuff, you know what I mean? It's These ain't cheap. I uh, got a piece of square stock here. Could be used for a keyway or something. Um, so, next box. Oh, this one's heavier. So, in this one we have... Oh, a whole bunch of bolts. Good to have. 
couple adapters, tape adapters, threaded, fine threaded, coarse threaded, the old proverbial square nut. Got a cool little bracket here of some sort, could be useful for some contraption, part of a clevis, um, or clasp, excuse me, clasp, um, just a pin with a cotter key in it. Um, don't know, little brass duty, and some bolts and a big leg screw. Cool. Okay, let me check out these hinges. There's guys out there that are collecting these, I've heard. So these, this looks like a double hinge. Maybe it goes both ways. You know, like, a, uh, I would think it looks like a double hinge. I'm not sure, but I almost think it is. I think it's ones that, you know, go to like a saloon door. Uh, there's another one of them. There's another one of them. These are old babies. I don't know. Probably worth a million dollars a piece. Or not. So there's another one. Uh, we've got a hook for, you know, holding another piece of a hinge. Uh, a door stop, uh, a ring compressor <laughs> for the for the Bentley. That's almost perfect. Right. In there. Um, a door lock mechanism. Maybe that no nope, skeleton key doesn't fit in. So I'll say, and uh, I think that's the striker plate for it. You guys seen one of those lately? Brand spanking new, square cut nail. Never know. I might have to build the arc or something. I can use that. Oh, look at this. We got some tools. Let's see what we got. So, we got a pair of toenail clippers. They seem to be, um, I would say, uh, of American-made nature. Got a pair of lineman pliers here. Need to be cleaned up a little bit, a little rusty, but they clean up. These players are kind of interesting. Not really sure what the theory is. Um, the mouse nests are free. And there's another pair with a bigger gripper in it. Those ones work. Can't tell you the manufacturer, but got some of those. Uh, more mouse nests. Um, try to get you guys in the light. Maybe we'll even turn this light on. It might help a little. So what do we got here? Um, chunk of foam. Don't know. A little escutcheon plates for sink faucet. A couple little chunks of aluminum. A uh, bunch of wood screws. Uh, half a hinge. Maybe I got the other half over there. This one's a broken hinge. Nothing spine tingling interesting there. Oh, look at the mother load of hinges here. So, uh, I to be honest with you, I've got another one of these somewhere. I think it's out in the garage. I'm still not sure what they use for, but I've got them. Half a hinge, half of a little barn hinge. Uh, dolly wheel without the wheel. Again, door hinge. Another hinge. There's the clasp. We need. We found the other part of it, so we could have that. Uh, hinges wired together. Must be a match set. Uh, this one here is falling apart. There's a wheel. Wheel. Another hinge. Another hinge. Some half hinges. Not sure if these two would go together. No, of course not. How about this one or this one? Nope. So, maybe half hinges. The rest of them are pieces of hinges. More hinges. Those are complete door hinge. Door hinge. Oh, here's some oldies. These could be useful. I think I got four of them in here. Little barn type door hinges. Um, 
hinge pins and a bunch of huge leg bolts um, and some monster screws, wood screws, another leg bolt could be handy. Uh, we got an empty, an empty, we got some nails, oh we got a file, I can't get the file out. Um, doesn't feel too bad. It's a little war. But not too bad. Nice little file. Maybe I should put that someplace else. I don't know. I'm just looking. You guys just coming along for the ride. Well, what do we got in this one? Let's take a look. My table here is going to be too full. It'll tip over pretty soon. Ah, uh, you got a pull rope. Might need that. That could be useful. We've got some plastic things that I have no idea what they are. That was full of chalk. Here's the chalk. Um, piece of little chrome pipe. Oh, I actually can use that. I needed a new one of these for my Weller. Check that out. No kidding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And actually, here's another one out of the package. Cool beans. That was a good one. That was a good find. Um, let's see here. Nothing, nothing too exciting going on here. Just some big spikes. Some screws. Kind of a... I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to be bent. They must try to make something. Uh, again, got a little ring here for a faucet. Again, I think these are all like faucet parts or sink parts. Um, uh, nails. Ooh, the spring collection. Yes, no, this is not the spring as in spring of the year. Let's see what we got. We got glass doorknob, probably worth a million, 1.5 million. I don't know, something like that, but it's complete. Uh, we've got some, oh yeah, this stuff is stuck to the bottom of the thing. That can't be good. It oozed out a little bit. Gasket sealer, non-hardening pliable. And it's not hardened. So number two, BK. Probably can't even buy that stuff anymore. Here's some GE. Looks like silicone. Yeah, I'd say that's silicone. We've got some contact adhesive. I bet that's no good. Got an interesting little piece of plastic here. Not sure. And check out these springs. Handy. Handy spring. Big long ones, short ones. Compression, non compression. How much is that worth? That's got to be worth something. Box full of springs. Realize I got a whole nother table to go through. <laughs> We could be here a while. Um, just some little wood screws. Some big bolts. Nothing great. But you never know. You need a bolt. Um, looks like more bolts. Oh, this one is heavy. A uh, piece of threaded rod. Threaded rod. You know, I was looking for threaded rod. And... Uh, so now we got threaded rod. Uh, some with nuts on the end there. Another hinge. Need your hinges. Square nuts. Always interesting. Chunk of steel. Uh, not really sure. Interesting. It looks like almost like a nail by the end of it, but then the head is all wacky. If you guys know what that is, let me know. Because I got two of them. <laughs> When in doubt, maybe it's like a punch or something. This one's not as smashed. But that end is definitely worked on a little bit. Um, not sure what those are. Not quite a few of them. I like window pieces. There's a couple little door hingey thingy, you know what I mean? Technical term. Wing nuts. That's what's there. So, let's look over here in the dark. I know it. It's dark. Um, whole bunch of bolts. 
A lot of them are square headed bolts, but a bolt is a bolt is a bolt. Some of them are hexes. Some of them are a little smaller over here. Um, oh, look at this. I saw this when I was digging. I didn't know where it was. There's the handle. And... Uh, there's got to be one, two, three, four, triangle, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three. 18, 19, There's like 24, 25 files in here. Um, you know, some smaller ones. Some bigger ones clean them up a little bit if, uh, if you guys uh, I have to show you my hunting knife my father when I was a kid made me a hunting knife he took an old file this was before forged in fire and uh, he just ground it down and put an edge on it and I tell you what it's a sharp old knife um, so again nails lots of nails nothing in this one uh, Mouse nests are free today. All the mouse nests you can have. Here's some copper nails. Oh, throw them away. Copper nails could be useful. Some finished nails. And just some regular nails. Okay, see? We only made it about halfway. Again, some white aluminum soffit nails. That's what's in there. Uh, an empty. Some sink parts, plumbing pieces. Let's take this one over here and take a look at it. Actually, we can do it right here, I think. As you guys can see, we've got a little pulley. That could be handy. we got some plumber's caulk, maybe. Another pin. Another bigger pin. Uh, pipe adapter. Wooden knobs painted green. Uh, little hooky type thing. Some S hooks. More pins. Not sure. End to a grease gun. And, uh, huh. That's actually a metal cutting like a hacksaw blade, but it's, that's kind of interesting for like a handsaw. I think I actually may have a handsaw that that fits in. Oh, uh, let's check this one out. This one looks good. Okay, we got some, it looks like number 35 chain. That's all like brand new. It's not rusty or anything. It's all put together. One chunk of it. It's a little stiff, but it's not rusty. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oops. I'm not sure. It's like plastic, like a zip tie with something in it. Not sure. Nothing. Uh, another end to a grease gun. That looks to be brand new. Um, more hooks. You guys can't see. Uh, bigger chunk of chain. That's probably number 40 chain. There's another chunk of number 40 chain. This is, must be the chain drawer. Got some pretty nice clamps there. Two of those. Another piece of pipe off a grease gun. Another little pin. Some zerk fittings. A bunch of zerk fittings. Those are probably uh, worth a couple bucks. There's another little piece of number 35. There's a whole brand new bag of chain. So, number 35 chain. That's pretty cool. Some pieces of tin. So, we got outlets, electrical, nuts. Um, that's an actual metal bit. I thought it was a wood cutting bit, but it isn't. It's kind of got a weird taper on it, but... 
Oh, you know, electrical stuff, electrical stuff, electrical stuff. Oh, that's uh, an empty. Let's take this one. This one's heavy. I think that might be lead. I would say that's lead. Yeah. That could be useful. Another chunk of, I'd say that's heavy, that's lead. This is steel, just like a tire bar maybe. Could be useful, kind of bunged up on the end, but you could always grind it down. Nice little piece of flat stock, but it does look like it has that curve like a tire, tire bar. Uh, some more nails. These are double-headed nails. You guys know what I mean? See, you got a head and a head. So... Oh, what do we got in here? So we got a, a bag with window shade bracket. I don't know. Looks like a cutter almost. But then that end really does it. These must, maybe they draw up. Are they threaded on the inside or something? Like an anchor? Okay, that's another one for you guys. Tell me what that is, because I have no idea. Um, little handle bracket to something. Again, another little piece of, it's not pipe, it's got like a groove all the way around on it. It looks almost like a, like a lifter, but that's a piece of pipe, another hinge. Tiny little hinges, tiny hinges, more tiny hinges, lots of tiny hinges. Um, not sure what these are. They're weighted. They're kind of heavy. They might be lead. Um, but tiny little hinges. Lots of tiny little hinges. Uh, let's see what's in here. It looks like... I'm not sure what those are. Got little rubber pads in them. Kind of tore up. This is rubber. Looks like almost like goes on the bottom of the door, maybe on a garage door or something. Got some bung bung bunghole plugs. Get your bungholes plugged. That's kind of an interesting socket. Bung plug, bung plug, bung. Bung bung bung. I just like saying bung. Okay, cool. Uh, another hinge for a cabinet. Bunch of wood screws, some of them plastic doodinkies. Uh, oh, holy crap. Brand new AC Delco spark plug. That one fits your Camaro. Uh, the mouse chewed its way through this one, must have liked it. Set of points. Tune up for your Camaro, probably. That's a brand new set of points. And actually, it's probably come out of this box, and there's a part number on it. UDR7X condenser. Oh, actually, maybe these are the points. Oh, where are the condenser is. Maybe the condenser will show up. There's the points. It's a DR2270 or OXP Lubra points. And the manufacturer is Blue Streak. So, like I said, that might be a good set of points. Looks brand new. Look rusty. Uh, tons of... Uh, I know it's dark in this hole. Let's go over here. We've got... Yeah, it's dark, guys. Why don't you turn the lights on? Okay, that might help. Again, these little wing nut thingies. Uh, a deadbolt. And lots of hook. You know, these things. Tons of those. Absolutely tons of them. A little clamp for you. Oh. Not seeing any million dollar items in here, but still, I got enough of those to last me the rest of my life. Uh, a tub of something that is hard as a rock. L brackets. Go buy those. They add up after a while. Got a schnikes load of those. There's a bunch of them. Um, there's a a bunch of them. There's some little ones, bigger ones. 
another saw blade right there. Um, two more files to go in the file bin whenever I find that again. An empty. Some more um, parts to sinks. A uh, big giant nipple. Little pairs of dykes. Look at those. Those are nice little guys. Look there. Make them beautiful. Look at that little pair. Nice little pair. A uh, little, little timing screwdriver. Look at the end on that. That's a nice little end. Very handy. Coal chisel. You can always use a coal chisel, especially these old ones, because these are good ones. Another file. And that's about it in that one. Okay, what do we got here? Wrenches. Uh, no name on that. Oh, no, there's a name on it. This is a uh, Carol. Maybe you guys can see it. Carcola Buffalo 13 sixteenths and 7 eighths. This one here is a Craftsman. That's an early one. Uh, 15 sixteenths and an inch. And this one here is a made in the USA. 13 sixteenths and 7 eighths. And another one of those bar, Barcola, Barcola Buffalo USA. 11 sixteenths and a three quarters. Three quarters is super handy. More Little nails. These ones have like a plastic end on them. That's kind of weird. Don't know that one. A oh, piece of wood, garbage. Light bulb with the thing, they make an adapter. That light bulb, probably a light. I kid you not, it probably will. Oh, well, what do we got here? We've got a set of. Uh, these are nice. These have got the adjusters on them. Nice little uh, dividers. So I can mark out where I'm going to go and travels. You know, measure that out. So, in case I'm ever on uh, the Mayflower. Oh, look at this one. This is cool. Check out that re or, uh, counter sink. That's badass. I got a small one of these, but not like that. That thing's huge. Um, I think that goes to a broom, another big hook, another U-bolt. These are stones, I think, sharpening stones. Yeah, these are stones, all kinds of sharpening stones, I think. Yeah, that one there has been, been used a little. Cool. Uh, we got a ton of different size here auger bits for a bit and brace. So if you got your bit and brace, we can drill holes. Maybe if I convert over to being Amish, I got square nails and bit and brace. I'll go right in business. Uh, we're getting down to the bottom, guys. We're getting there. Got another nice heavy duty spring clamp. Electrical crap. This, I believe, is for your boat. This is an oar. We'll put this on the boat. What do you think? And put one oar on it. We'll just go in circles. That could be fun. Uh, uh, let's see here. We got some old time gas caps. We got, oops, recoil dog dish to something. Another gas cap. And a bung plug and some big heavy. I got the twin sister to this floating around someplace. Check out these nails. Look at those guys. They've got uh, the grooves in them, so they're not twisty, that they're weird. And they're kind of light. They're weird. Washers. Do you realize how many washers I go through? It's amazing. So that was a good find right there. Um, 
insulator. So I think we have covered. Yeah, I think we did it. That's what we got, guys. $20 bill. So I won't make this video go any longer because you're probably bored. But um, I thought it was pretty cool. Now we got to find a place to put that sucker. I think um, I'm going to build, I'm going to take this, the shelf out over here with the RC cars on it under here. That's high enough to fit, but this brace is going to have to get retrofitted a little bit. The braces and then that shelf, and then it'll slide right in there. But I'm going to jack it up. I think I got about an inch. I'm going to put it on some pressure treated plywood because I do get water, as you guys can see. So anyway, thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll talk to you the next time I find something really cool.